Hi everyone, it's Edie, your video and YouTube strategist, and I'm coming in with a tutorial on an app called Fuse. And Fuse is a mobile app for TechSmith. And it is specifically so that you will be able to create and share content from your mobile device to your Camtasia projects. So this will pertain to either videos or photos that are in your library or that you record or take specifically to use in a Camtasia project. And it will be able to be uploaded directly to your Camtasia projects without you having to go through a third party. So the way that you would be able to do this is you need to install the Fuse app on your mobile device. And this is for either iOS or Android. And you would just need to either go to iTunes or to Google Play, or you can go to the TechSmith website and go to um, the Fuse product. And then there are links that it will allow you to download the apps or take you to the page to download the apps. But obviously you can do it on your phone, so you wouldn't need to do that. So as you can see, the Fuse app is on my phone. So what this tutorial will do, will walk you through how you can connect it to your Camtasia and then I'll upload a project so that you can see what it looks like. So let's get started. So first I just want to identify and show you what the Fuse um, app looks like. So we are going to click on that. Now right now my settings is open so you can see that Fuse works with Snagit, Camtasia as well as they have a product called TechSmith Relay. So for this we're going to go to our library and you can see I already have some items they're not the crazy videos and, and um, photos of my desktop that I just took before I started this tutorial. But I can also access my library from my phone by just clicking on import and you can see all of the photos and images that I have here that I also have access to. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to go to settings and we're going to go to Camtasia. And as you can see, I don't have any devices connected yet. So I'm going to click on connect device. So what I need to do now, and I'll see if this will work. It should work even though I'm in mirroring stage. I'm going to open up um, Camtasia. And this is Camtasia open. And I'm going to show you where this window is located. This window you find from going to file and then scrolling down to connect mobile device. And that's how you get this window. So now what I'm going to do is I've just connected. I literally pulled my camera up and hovered the QR code capture area over the code and it automatically connected. So you can see that it says Edie's Camtasia. So it is now connected. So this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go to my library. And since I already have a couple of documents or items, I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to then share. And then I'm going to find Camtasia as one of the apps that I have here. And there we go. And I'm going to click on Camtasia. And as you can see, it's uploading. So when we go back to Camtasia, you'll see that the image is in there. So I'll do another one without you uh, sharing my screen. And I'm going to share just the still. I'm looking for the app right now. I found it. And there it is coming in. So it's as easy as that. Now, obviously, if you're going to do this for Camtasia, I would film in landscape mode. So I'm going to do that real quick right now. And then I'm going to upload that. So let me share that one. Because you don't want to have to worry about the black bars on either side. So this one I actually did in landscape mode. And so I just want to pull it. Oops. 
and now I'm frozen for a second. So sorry. This is what happens sometimes. You just never know when Camtasia is going to stop working. Okay, sorry about that. Um, you know, life happens, things crash, so my apologies. So this is the landscape mode that I wanted to bring in. So I'm going to bring that in and bring that onto the timeline. So now you can see that it's actually fitting into my project setting is not set correctly. And that's because um, previous to this, I actually brought down one of these. So it made the project setting in that format. So all I need to do is go up here to project settings. And you see that it's set at custom. I'm just going to change that to widescreen and then hit apply. And then all I'm going to do, because this was not recorded, this was recorded in probably a 4.3 format, not a 16 by 9. So I'm just going to um, enhance it so that it can fit into the entire screen. And so that you can see what that looks like, I can do it this way. And so you can see in the canvas that there's a lot of um, footage that's outside of it. So I can pretty much sort of set that wherever I want and that's fine this works perfectly so you don't really I'll just do fit and so you don't really have to worry about that the other thing that I wanted to bring your attention to and we're going to go back to mirroring is that on your images or on your videos within fuse it gives you the ability to do a number of different things. Um, if you can see, the very top one has that almost like an S. That basically is like a pen mark. So let's change the color. And so you can write on the screen if you wanted to. And then you can uh, crop it if you also wanted to. So you can make it, you know, fit like that. And let's see if I wanted it to come up that way and then you would come up here and hit crop and you would say yes and then it would crop it for you then if you wanted to trash the whole thing you could go down here and say discard changes so i just wanted to share that with you just in the event you ever need to do any sort of you know editing of your images um, before you uploaded them onto camtasia so anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, thanks for watching as always. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it, share it with your friends and colleagues, and do leave a comment below. Thanks again.